The voice just seems to be getting better and better with each episode. Last episode was quite literally the peak of television and this one was an emotional journey. And before we jump into this week's review, this is your spoiler warning. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. And if you have, you guys are the real heroes. So as I mentioned at the start, this episode managed to pull on the emotional heartstrings of the viewers with the whole storyline with Huey's dad. But it also was kind of funny with Frenchie's joke about the sheep. Despite what I thought last episode about Huey's dad becoming a zombie soup, it didn't happen. But it kind of did since he was resurrected directed from being brain dead so that Huey can get the final goodbye that he missed out on so much. Huey's dad, despite seeming okay with Huey's mum's return, we do see that down below he still hasn't forgiven her and this was manifested into his powers since his powers is the ability to phase through things and disappear from a situation a lot like Huey's mother did. But I also can't help but draw similarities between Huey's powers when he had taken 10 V and Huey's dad's powers. Though they are very different, Huey does have teleportation powers, they also do seem quite similar as they do fall under the same bracket. We also finally get the soup virus storyline be addressed this season, something that's taken way too long for the season to actually show. But we do find out who Newman's partner is, and that is Samir, a scientist who'd worked for Edgar. The return of Stan Edgar was also great to see. We also see that Annie and Newman aren't that very different to each other, since they are both trying to live two different lives. And the longer you do that, the more dangerous it becomes. We also see Homelander kind of be a good dad, but at the same time, if you give a teenager no rules, then it is very likely they will go down the wrong path. So that is up for debate if he is a good dad. But I do want to talk about this scene in particular. We see that Ryan actually wants to help people, unlike Homelander, which is good because it shows the difference between him and his father. But then at the same time, he kind of enjoys the bad guys getting punished, which is something Homelander often does. So it does put the question of how Ryan will turn out right in the center of the storyline of the entire show. Sam and Kate from Gen V are finally back in V54, which is a ripoff of D23, and they announce a whole bunch of movies in the Vought Cinematic Universe. Hopefully, we get to see more of them in the coming episodes. Also, Kate has either really grown her hand or it's a prosthetic hand. I can't really tell but I think it is prosthetic. We also finally see God Mode Homelander and this scene was kind of weird mainly because of my perception of Sage changed with this one scene. This whole time I thought she was on Homelander's side but with her looks to A-Train as Homelander says that Coleman was the leak makes me think that she might be playing the long game and tear the seven apart from the inside. This also explains why she set up Firecracker to be beaten up by Starlight last episode. But I also think that Joe may not be real since Samir does look confused when Billy talks to Joe and Joe might be the devil on Billy's shoulder whilst Becca is the angel and if this is true then we could possibly see the two argue at some point a lot like when we saw Sam see a version of Golden Boy as he went on his killing spree but overall this episode gets an 8 out of 10 subscribe and comment below your thoughts on the episode as well